Welcome to LegacyCast, your source for hearing from top influencers, industry experts, and successful business owners who are telling their unique story about life, values, goals, business strategies, and the various causes they are so passionate about. Future generations will come to be impacted by what is happening today, whether positive or negative, and our mission is to focus on what is going to affect change for the better. Hosted each weekday by James Snow, a former U.S. Army combat medic, now founder and principal advisor of James Advisors Group, a full-service financial planning firm in North Texas. This is Legacy Cast. Good morning, Legacy Cast listeners. This is your host, James Snow, coming to you from North Texas. And I've got a, a fellow veteran here with me this morning, which is going to be a, a really interesting episode because you know, we get to talk about a lot of different things. And you know, those of you that, that know me on a personal level, you know that uh, you know, things that are, are benefiting to veterans are, are really something that I'm passionate about. It's, it's something that you know, there's just not enough veteran service organizations, in my opinion. And, and so uh, Enrique is is the person that's doing that. Uh, my guest this morning, he's got a lot of different irons in the fire, and so uh, I hope that we get a chance to to cover you know as many of those as possible and do some due diligence to those. Uh, but uh, before you know, before getting too into the weeds there, uh, Enrique Marin, uh, welcome to the program, bud. Hey, thanks so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Well, it's a, a pleasure and an honor to have you on here. Uh, like I was mentioning, you know, you're a Marine Corps veteran, so you know, I give you a, a hearty Ura, there. Um, I'm I'm Army, but I am bilingual, so I, I know how to how to say Ura with a little bit of a little bit of bravado there. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, how many how many years did you have uh, in the Corps, man? Uh, so I spent 18 years in the Marine Corps. Um, it's uh, it, I got out probably four years ago. Um, mm-hmm. You know, just like everyone else, I was I was a little lost. Didn't know what I wanted mm-hmm. to do. I I was a police officer. Then I went to go become a Border Patrol agent. Then the last one that kind of drew the final straw for me before I started dabbling into entrepreneurship and uh, especially digital marketing was uh, I went to go work for Social Security Administration as a claims investigator. And uh, well, I did not see my life uh, in a cubicle for the rest of my days. And everybody thought I was insane for leaving it. And I, it just wasn't for me. I just I didn't know what I what. <laughs> I just didn't know what I wanted, what I didn't want to do, sure. but I knew that, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah. And I did a little bit of, you know, quote unquote cubicle work, you know, after I got out of the, out of the army and you know, I did that for like 10 years, but it was the 10 of the most miserable years of my life because, you know, that that's just not me. And yeah, you know, so I, I can relate with you. It's, it's one of those things that, you know, you might have to do it to, to take care of business, but you know, when it really boils down to it, we, we kind of discover in that, you know, who we are and, and what we need to be doing. And it looks like you got, you know, a lot of things going on. I mean, you, you mentioned the digital marketing, uh, you have a, a course that is that right uh, to where you're, you're helping transitioning military to where they can, you know, get, you know, get a digital marketing uh, credentials that, that you're going to be releasing here pretty soon. Yeah. So, um, so just a little bit of, about that. Uh, I, I've probably spent the past five, six years, uh, in marketing, I had some amazing mentors. They, they taught me, uh, wow, they taught me so much about email marketing. Uh, that's when I, I got out of corporate America. I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I started in email marketing, dabbled into social media, mm-hmm. uh, copywriting, creating content. And, um, you know, I went to, uh, this, this, uh, training. It's called Traffic Convergence Summit. It's always, uh, it's held in San Diego. The digital marketer, the guy uh, that runs it is Ryan Dice. Uh, very, very prominent in the digital marketing world. Well, I had a conversation with him and I asked him, uh, hey, listen, these courses, they, they had some amazing courses for digital and digital marketing. They have a, they've got a lot of certifications. And I asked him just straight up, would you ever consider turning these into GI Bill approved courses? Because, you know, veterans and business owners would love to have this. And well, basically, long story short, I got the answer, no. Um, so... I just said, you know what, this is needed. So I decided to create it. And uh, I basically took uh, me and my team a whole year. Yeah. Uh, so my company is called Army Patriots. And what we decided to do was, let's see if we can create a general approved course, create it, and get it approved. Well, we got it approved in July. 
the problem is, is that uh, we didn't have a, what they, they call a tab, uh, like an education tab. So we couldn't teach mm -hmm. it. So now uh, November 7th, I go up to the board and uh, the final phase is just letting them know why the veteran community needs a digital marketer specialist course. And that's it. So the course has been approved. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just talking to them about the, the, um, the benefits of having something like this and why it's needed in the marketplace, especially when the only thing that's offered is a two-year or four-year uh, mm -hmm. colleges. And by that time, the, the marketing has changed so much because marketing changes. Like, it's, like, it's like technology. Mm -hmm. It changes constantly. So, so we decided to, to, to create our own. And uh, yeah, we, we started promoting it and launching it in January. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, that's that's definitely the the military mentality. Is you know, if something else is not really suiting the suiting the problem, then just go ahead and create it. You know, don't don't wait for somebody else to do it. It's, you know, it's just barrel through and and take care of it. And I love it, man. Yeah, we just it was crucial. You know, every I don't care if you're, you know, even if you don't have a business, you know, it's it's about personal branding. It's about growing yourself. Uh, whether you want a promotion, whatever it is, right? It's marketing can always help you, and that's one of the problems that I wanted to, to help solve. Uh, but there's so many of us uh, that want to go into entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. um, but then right now, the problem is there's so much information out there that you don't know what to trust. Right. The thing too is a lot of it is very expensive. So mm -hmm. I just figured out hey, we could use our education benefits, right? We already have them. And we also offer laptops. We offer, uh, well, I mean, there's so much stuff that comes with the course. It's not just, I'll oh, take our course. No, it's not. It's money that, that you've earned. Uh, you know, a right to use education benefits, mm -hmm. and that—that's really why I was created. So, now I'm, I'm here in Texas. <clears throat> excuse me, and and here in Texas, we also have uh, the Hazelwood Act. Is this going to be something that Texas uh, people are, are going to be able to take advantage of that uh, in addition to their GI Bill? You know, I think that, that that's a very good question, and and the way the GI Bill works is is you know you you. So I've created other courses, other GI Bill approved courses, but nothing like the digital marketer. This was more for counterterrorism. So, so if you wanted to be a professional bodyguard, uh, you could use a GI Bill for that stuff. If you wanted to be a counterterrorism instructor, you could use a GI Bill for that stuff. We actually have a school based out of Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that's where I got the idea. I was like, well, um, we want to open it up in Vegas and California, especially Texas. I'm from Texas. Um, I was down south, uh, Rio Grande Valley, way down south. Um, so, so Texas is like, that's my, my place. That's my first love. Um, and so, yeah, we want to use it. But the, as far as the Hazelwood Act and all that stuff, it's going to take a little bit of time for us to get established in Texas. So, yes, we are looking at, at having a facility opened up in Texas. As a matter of fact, yeah. we're talking to a couple of people, uh, not to name drop, or it doesn't really matter. But um, I've been talking to like guys like uh, Omari uh, Broussard from the Veterinary Tribe and, and Andrew uh, O'Brien, we've been talking in terms of trying to come up with something um, to set to establish the, the GI Bill uh, approved course out in Texas. Yeah, uh, another, you know, just kind of throw a name out there for you is uh, another could be Bunker Labs. Um, there's a Sabrina that's with Bunker Labs there in uh, Austin, and they're going to be moving a, another uh, Bunker Labs thing, uh, a cohort up here in Dallas. They haven't done that yet, but, you know, they're, they're going to be doing, you know, a cohort as soon as possible up here. So, you know, Bunker could be a, a good, you know, good resource too. And then. Yeah, it's, I'm sorry. It's interesting you bring up Bunker because I was looking for them in San Diego and mm -hmm. uh, I know they're trying to start something out here. There's a couple of, of people that are trying to start something uh, mm -hmm. out here. Uh, so I'm very eager to, to see what I could do with them. But mm -hmm. yeah, we, like I said, we just decided that it was lacking. We need to create it. And uh, we have so many business owners out there that could definitely benefit from this. And so we're, we're going to push forward with it. Look, uh, we didn't have the support in the beginning. And I said, okay, I'll do it on my own. And now that I have it done and we're going to create more, um, it's amazing. There's a lot of companies that do want to work with us. And I'm very, very eager to – I just want to get it out there. I think it's so sure. important. I don't give a crap about the money. I don't care about any of that. I just – it's important that we get it out there like mm -hmm. as soon as possible. Yeah, and you know, as the the title of our our program implies, you know, legacy cast. This is really a big part of what your legacy is, Enrique. You know, it's you know your legacy of being able to help veterans, you know, gather service, take their benefits that they've earned, turn around, and be able to apply to these courses, and and do something, you know, just be able to jump on it right now and and not drag out, like you say, two, three, four years, 
you know, trying to get, you know, certifications and degrees that they're going to turn around and have to, you know, renew and, and start getting updates because they're already, they're going to be out of date by the time they get their credentials. So you know, it's, it's helping them, you know, really get to it because, you know, you have to be able to earn income, you know, and if you're sitting in four years of college, well, you know, that's, that's four years you have to do something else instead of earning that income. And, you know, it's rough. Uh, yeah, the trade that, you know, the, the, uh, the, the skills and trade industry is making a huge comeback. You know, nowadays, even if you get a degree, you go on, move on, it, nothing's guaranteed. It's never been guaranteed. The problem is that they make it to where these uh, higher educational institutions want you to believe that you need a degree to be successful. Mm-hmm. I, I can tell you, I have a degree in criminal justice, not once ever used it since I've been out of the military. I, I just, even in law enforcement, they never asked me for anything unless I was uh, trying to advance. I mean, in, in my mm-hmm. initial uh, background, I, I submitted it, but I've never used it to, to for anything else, really. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't think they'll get an education or degree. I don't, I'm not saying that at all. Please, by all means, use your education benefits, but there's other ways. There's other ways. Sure. Yeah, and there, there's so many people, you know, same story, that you know, they, they get the degree, you know, whether it be, you know, bachelor's, master's, whatnot, and they're not even using it. And yet, yet they're, you know, generating all that debt to, to get that degree, and then they're not using it. Yeah, you know, it seems like there's a, a better way. And and I love that you're you're doing what you're doing because that is a better way. You know, it's, it's yeah, getting, getting what you need to do what you need to do. No, most definitely. And uh and that actually brings us to, to some of the other programs that I got involved with in um I uh I became a co owner and I'm a president of a company called Salute to Suit and they mm-hmm. we also help uh transitioning uh so basically so a little bit of background on that is mm-hmm. We decided that we were only going to uh, help um, transitioning military, active duty, uh, veterans, law enforcement, educators, basically what we would consider first responders, what we would consider the American heroes. So, so if I leave anyone out, it's not by intent. It's just, I can, there's, there's, there's a, a select demographic that we, we said, okay, we're going to offer our services to them. And basically what we did was, we lowered our price point so much to make it affordable for people transitioning out of the military who are job seekers to be able to afford a suit. So one of my experiences with that was obviously getting out, trying to get a job. But one of the most costly ones was going to like a Joseph A. Banks or Men's Warehouse where, sure, I get the 10% discount for you know my military service. But either way, I was walking out of there with a five dollars $600 suit after all the supposedly, you know, uh, uh, um, I guess, discounts. But it was a tail and it was everything that was just, it was very costly. So what I did was I wanted to do is I partnered up with, uh, with, with a, a friend of mine that I actually, I was helping market his company. Then I took uh, co-ownership of it mm-hmm. and he decided to create a transition ready collection, which is basically a tailored suit, a shirt, a tie, a pocket square, a belt and socks to include shipping and handling for $249. And you get it in seven days. So we're doing everything we can to lower the price point as much as we can to help transitioning people to anybody that needs a suit, right? We're just, hey, if, if you, even if you're a company that just supports veterans, we will open up this offer to you. But it's very, very, um, like I said, it's tailored um, for a specific demographic. Sure. You know, so, so that's another thing that we're doing to try and help um, and we do a lot of uh, suit, suit um, um, I guess, uh, suit drives. We try to help a lot with things like that. So, so we give back homeless to homeless veterans. Like, look, the way I see it is, it's our community. We need to take care of each other, and this is what I'm trying to do. And and anywhere where we can help, uh, I'm I'm all about it. Sure. Yeah, I, I really like what I'm hearing here. I mean, you're you're doing a lot of stuff that that does have a, a huge need. You know, there, there's a huge need out there for, for the veteran community. And, you know, even especially the homeless veteran community is, you know, something like, you know, having a, a good suit of clothes could be the difference between where they're at now and being able to, you know, to break out of that cycle and, and get back into, you know, feeling productive and, and feeling like they have, you know, had that value that they really do have. So that's, that's huge. That's huge. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's, all we're trying to do is change the mindset through wardrobe. Right. And, and really what it is, 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 making them believe in themselves. And, and I'm telling you, a, a tailored fit suit, you know, you can go grab something off the rack, but I'm telling you, when you have something that is fit to your body, to your body type, that is designed for you, it, it truly 